In this third video, we're going to try and draw a relief diagram which will show the hills we have to walk up and down during the leg between point 2 and point 3. Now, I've looked at the map carefully. I can see a 200 metre contour line going around here, another 100 metre going around here. I know I'm going to have a steep down to that creek and then a steep back up again. So I'm going to start off. I know that I start at 180. And we're going to come along. I go up one, up another. I'm budging I should have my paper closer. There is the 200 metre. And there's another 200 metre. Now, between those two points, I'm going up over the hill. There's 200 again, and this time we're going under the 200. So it's 200 for all of these, 200. Now, from this point, we are going down. I beg your pardon. We are going up over the top of the small plateau to 200 again. Now we're going to start going down. I can see here is 100. And we're going down quite steeply, down, down, down. We then get to the creek bed here, which I know is at about 30. Now from that creek bed we're going to rise again up here. Uh, and that is 100. So now we're going up. Uh, 100 here and at this point we are at 200. If you're um, accurate you can actually mark off each separate contour between there. Here they are much closer together. So this is 150. Alright, from 200 we are on a sort of a plateau now, 200 we cross a track, on 200 all the way to here, and at this point we drop down below 200. So I'm going to put a sort of a, a dome shaped arc to show that I'm on the top. We are now going down, 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 a little bit of a fudge factor there, move my paper slightly, 100. And I can see that the contours are really steep at the bottom and they are more spread out further up there. Alright, from 100 I'm down here. I know this is about 10 metres. It's just upstream from the bay, which is at sea level. We then go back up here to 100 and point 3 is at about... 130. Mm. Hard to pick it, well, maybe only about 110. This is point 3, this is point 2. We're then going to take that and put it onto our relief diagram. And you'll notice that I've marked my heights on the left uh, up to 200 metres. And so here we go, we can. Uh, Put our points here, we know that we're on 200 here, 200 here, 200 here, and here. Now we're down to 100, I'll do that in a minute. I'm going to do the, that 200, that 200, and I've got a 100 and a 100 there. So let me come down now to the 100s, and I'm going to do 100 here, 100 here, 100 here. And 100 here. All right, we now are going to go right down. We come down to about 30 here. So what's 25? That's 30 there. We come down to about 10 meters here. So my diagram is going to look pretty much like this. I'm starting at about 180. I'm coming up over the top, under, over, whoops, I think I've got that slightly wrong, 
I think uh, I was over, under, over, and now I'm going down to the river. I could do it more finely with my single marked contours if I had the time, but for our purposes here, I think this is going to give a good indication that this is a hilly walk. And we are going now, I'm just not sure where point three is. Point three is just there. Now here's point three, and here's point two.